Welcome to the show where we talk about whatever we want, whenever we want, and nobody cares. Hi there, I'm Joshua, and this is my brother and co-host Eli, and this, this is, is podcast. podcast. Hey guys, hope you're having a beautiful day. And uh, today we're talking about uh, automobiles, cars. Mm -hmm. um, and interestingly, kind of words that we've been actually talking about them the last couple of days, just mostly because you are in need of a vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, you've been borrowing. Yeah, I've been hogging, hogging, well, back and forth between their two vehicles uh, for a while now. They said they didn't care, and I, I, I feel bad. I don't like you know taking loans from people, or in this case, you know, borrowing. I, I, we really show I don't care. You're living with us, and so you know you have access to the vehicles. But you did interestingly uh, go out and look at an old vehicle. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, well, co-worker of Dad's is selling a 1957 Studebaker President, and it was a sweet car. I went and looked at it the other day. I was really, really hoping that it would be something I'd be able to get and you know take to its form of glory eventually. And unfortunately, I, I've decided against it. You know, it's just, uh, right now it's probably not the time for me to start a car like that. And obviously it drives, I'd use a day-to-day -day driver, but a lot of people were saying the same thing. You know, here's the thing, you know, with old cars like that, it's one thing after the other. You're going to fix the brakes first, then you're going to have to fix the, you know, you're going to have to fix something else in the engine. You're going to have to fix the interior, the, you know, paint it eventually. If, if I ever wanted to do the fun stuff with it, like repaint it and all that, right? it's going to be years and years and years and years and years down the road and time and money just thrown into it so much. So. Well, yeah, because you have to get the other things done, the stuff that makes it a suitable driving vehicle yeah. before you have to worry about the aesthetics, the paint. Yeah. And the... So, unfortunately, I'm not going to get it. I'm, I'm actually just going to pay to have my um, the Kia Sedona. <laughs> the 2004 Kia Sedona that mom and dad. You know what though? Gonna... There's something to be said about the about vans because I, you know, I have a van. I have a, you know, I have a Dodge Caravan. Yeah, which um, I drive a lot. And there's something to be said about vans. I know they're not the coolest looking car on the road, but man, they're they're convenient. Mm -hmm. You know, when you want to take friends somewhere, or you know, I remember I had a friend in high school, right? Mm -hmm. And he had he got a van. He was a drummer, mm -hmm. um, in the marching band, and he was a drummer. Um, he, he, he played drum for a band, yeah. for, right? And uh, he got a van. And, you know, right right, at, right as soon as he got his license, he, he bought a van. And, you know, people were, you know, wasn't the coolest car in the high school at first. Until? And soon it became the coolest car in high school because, like, when he wanted to take friends, like, when people wanted to go to the drive-in mm -hmm. here in town, you know, you could bundle up seven or eight people in it. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to go to the mall together, or if you want to go steak and shake together, or if, you know, whatever. If you want to go with friends somewhere, he was a go-to guy because he had the vehicle that could carry people. Um, so, you know, I know the van isn't the coolest looking vehicle on the road, but they are convenient. They're damn handy. So, and you know, of course, now, you know, being a much older, you know, being an older adult now, not, you know, not, not... And having kids. Yeah, not being in my, like, you know, not being a college-age adult, but being, you know, you know, nearly 30 mm -hmm. and having children, um, boy, it's handy. It, it's nice to be able to get everybody in the car, you know, my, you know, I well, that's oldest why appreciates being able to stretch out his legs a little bit. You know, I used um, to play sousaphone in the marching band. Right. And, um... Uh, of course, you know, without a big vehicle, it's kind of hard to transport sousaphones. Um, we could fit two of them in the back of a van if you take out the back seat. Mm -hmm. put out, now, we had these big custom Unitech cases, but they, they, we'd slide one in, we'd slide one in on the top. Um, well, I think at one time we were able to slide three in the back of a, a van. I don't know if it was one of our vans or if it was another van. We were able to slide three in because it was wide enough that you could slide them in standing up like this, one, two, three. So, um, so what is your dream car, if you had one? What is your dream car? Undoubtedly, uh, a 6162 Austin Martin DB5. See, that's exactly what mine is. Um, that's and, exactly and charcoal what charcoal gray, not, not the James Bond silver. Oh, see, I want the James Bond silver. Charcoal gray, because that's my favorite car color. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, ever since I was a kid and I saw gold, the movie Goldfinger, mm -hmm. 
and Connery's Rock and that awesome R and DB5. That car is so slick looking. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it it's just it's so cool looking. It's such a cool looking car. It, it, it's the same thing for me. That is my dream car. Now they go for way too much. Mm -hmm. It'll cost me a lot less to get a classic, you know, Mustang or a classic Corvette, fix that up to its form of glory and everything and make it run. I can do the same with the 57 Studebaker. Get something like that, fix it up completely to its form of glory. It'll cost me exponentially less mm -hmm. to do that than it would to, to buy the to buy a brand new or even a used DB5, Aston Martin DB5. So we both like the DB5. What what would you consider your second dream car? I would be interesting to if we uh, vary on that. Uh, I would say it's probably not going to be the same as yours. A classic convertible, like a like a like a Mustang. I would love to have a classic Mustang. Uh, um. A classic convertible. Yeah, that's probably that's probably what it is. A classic convertible. So anything like you're, you're talking like a Corvette Stingray or yeah, Mustang Corvette or yeah, Mustang, anything yeah, like that. Mustang. So anything from the muscle car era. Mm -hmm. um, okay. What more about you? <laughs> um, yeah. That's all. That's honestly a great question. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. My my thing is I'm not super enamored by cars. Yeah. You know, I'm not I'm not I'm not a car guy. For starters, what I know about cars mm -hmm. could be fit in a you know a little box. Yeah, uh, yeah, in a matchbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean I, I literally I, I literally I right, Sam. I mean I know next to nothing about the innards of cars. Or the years, like mm -hmm. people, you know, people looking like that's a 1957, uh, like the Studebaker. If I just looked at it, I'd be like, yeah, that's a, that's a sweet Studebaker. I know what a Studebaker is. And then I'd read President on the side, I'm like, oh, it's a Studebaker President. Right. I wouldn't know the year. You're like, that is a 57, undoubtedly. I'm like, how the hell do you know that? They're like, oh well, it only had that 57 was the only year that had that little, like, shout. Yeah, I know absolutely nothing about the mechanics of cars. Mm -hmm. I, like, really don't know anything about. I, I know the parts. I know. I would struggle. About how to I would them. struggle to change a tire. I can change a tire. I could. I'd struggle to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, you know. The hardest part with tire changing for me was figuring out how to use the jack to lift up the car. Well, <laughs> last summer, I'm sitting here on the porch, and I hear somebody honking the horn. Like, Wah. I was like, "What an asshole! Who is doing that?" And then Michelle comes around the corner. <laughs> And pulls up, and she turns off her engine, and it goes. And I was like, "Whoa! Like, what was that?" And she said, "I don't know." All of a sudden, it just started doing that. And she said, "I think it's something wrong with the the something." <laughs> no, she said, "I think it's something wrong with the uh, the the breaker or the 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 horn." It's something with the horn. The horn. The horn. So she gets in there, and she's like, "Oh yeah, right here." She pulls out. The little microchip or the little, the little like yeah, the, the, little the, breaker. the breaker that goes to the horn. I'm like, are you sure that's the right one? Like, you didn't just like pull out, you know, like the power steering. The, yeah, the brakes or something. And she's like, no, no, this is it. Think about it. You know, she gets in the car and <laughs> drives off, and she's like, actually, oh, even I'm more impressive was when <laughs> when Michelle and I were dating. Mm -hmm. Her mom got her this Jeep, and it was cool. Jeep the Wrangler. Jeep, the Jeep Wrangler, um, and it was cool at first. At first, and it quickly became a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Like very quickly, there were so many problems with it, and uh, you know, it just there was like one issue after another. Uh, we tried to use the bikini top once, but it had a bikini uh -huh, top. Yeah. It was a hard top Jeep, but it had a bikini top. Do you take a hard top off for the bikini? We tried to put the bikini top. We got caught in a thunderstorm. It was like, pfft. it just downpoured in the Jeep with us sitting in there. Mm -hmm. There was like a swell of water at our feet. Um, one time in the middle of freaking January, I was losing my job. I was going, to, I was going to get to lose my job, and the wind caught right up under it and pulled, ripped the the hard top piece right off. So mm -hmm. we had to drive home convertible. So we actually had to like lace it down, hold it, 
<laughs> and you know, almost drive convertible style. There's all this wind blowing in, mm -hmm. and this was the middle of January. It was freezing. But right, short really after she got there was a problem with the radiator. Right, mm -hmm. she and her mom took the radiator out of the Jeep mm -hmm. and replaced the radiator in the Jeep in the parking lot of AutoZone. <laughs> whilst I stood by impotently, like. You're like an asshole. That's that, good job, guys. That's great. To make matters worse, and this was pretty early on in our we're dating. It was mm. pretty early on. You know, her mom, uh, some guy walks up, some young guy about our age. Mm. You know, we're in college age, we're college age, like, you know, early 20s. And this early 20s guy walks up. He's like, oh, you guys having trouble? And her mom's like, nope, nope, we got it. And uh, they start talking. They start, talk, stop, start, start talking cars. So now I go from third wheel the fourth. to fourth wheel, and her mom keeps, keeps going, Shell, you should get this guy's number. You should get this guy's number. I'm like, oh, come on. No. So, but fortunately, love prevailed. You know, here we are a decade later. Michelle and I are still very, very happily married. And you don't have the Jeep anymore. And we don't have the Jeep anymore. <laughs> um, I was, one of the happiest days of my life was getting rid of that Jeep. So, I, uh, I mean, you know, that Jeeps, and, the, and the Grand Marquis. Jeeps are s sweet. They really are cool. And it would be kind of cool to have like a Willys Jeep, like an, or like a World War II Jeep. I would Jeep. love that Willys Jeep. Except now, I have such a bad taste in my mouth about Jeeps because of that one that I don't really, con you know, I don't really, mm -hmm. you know. You know, I hate when people put Willys, they put the word Willys on the side of like a new Jeep. Yeah, because I've seen it's a lot. I'm like, it's not, it's not a Willys Jeep. Oh, yeah, stop. It's only one. stop trying. It, it, it gets annoying, actually. But uh, to me, there, there's a guy that comes to Kroger all the time that has one. I see him there in the parking lot. I'm like, really? Come on. But, uh... I mean, I, you know what? There was a car that I wanted for a while there. I wanted to get a used mail truck. Because that would be fun. That would be fun. Just have this big back open area. You know, you get to drive on the, the left side instead of right. the right. On the right side instead of the left amount. So that that I think that would actually be kind of fun is to drive to drive around a mail truck as your regular car. Right. Just uh. Do you remember when I had I had this idea of making the back of my van, that the the back of the the uh, the Kia, into a little like a mobile center or some kind. I wanted to put like computer in there and all that. And I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But that'd be that'd be kind of fun at the same time. If you do that with a mail truck, though, just put a whole thing in there. That, that'd be kind of cool. A little, little cot in the back, sleeping in Walmart parking lot all the time. I have like a little command center, I have like a lot of computer and Wi Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, pretending you know, pretending you're the FBI or something. You come and knock on the window, sir. Can I help you? I'm like, no, I can help you. <laughs> I don't know. Here's your, here's your mail. <laughs> here's your mail. So I would, I I like that idea. I also like try like the idea of getting an old ambulance. Driving around an old ambulance, that'd be fun. No, not honestly old, but a used ambulance, like a modern ambulance. But, uh, don't need the lights on it, just, just the shape, the box, having that big back open again. You'd be like the Blues Brothers getting an old cop car. There we go. It's got cop suspension, cop mm -hmm. engine. Cop shocks, cop. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just got out of prison and you're picking up in a cop car? What happened to the old Blues Mobile? I traded it. You know what I'm saying? For what? A microphone. It's like, I could see that. <laughs> That's a good movie. That's a great movie. That's something we didn't talk in our list of uh, favorite comedies. Mm -hmm. Which I think we should do a Redux episode sometime this week, maybe this week. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of our favorite comedies because there was quite a few we missed. Yeah. We so, talked about that. We were like, oh, how did we forget this movie? How did we forget this movie? Yeah. It, well, it's hard, you know. Mm -hmm. I, it's, it's, comedy's my favorite genre of movie, but. Uh... Well, go, going back to cars, though. <laughs> if you. It, it, please comment below your favorite cars. Maybe we'll talk about that in the future. If you if you say something that we forgot to talk about, like a cool car, or a car we haven't heard about before, we'd love to talk about that. Again, we're not really automotive guys, but uh, if our glaring if our glaring uh, stupidity, yeah, is it showing enough? Glaring ignorance in in automobiles doesn't mm -hmm. uh, doesn't. I would love to have a motorcycle. I would. I would love, to, love to have a motorcycle. motorcycle. But mom said no. But mom <laughs> said no. But our mom said no. No, I, I would love to have a motorcycle. That'd be so much fun to... It's something Shell's talked about doing, again, after the kids move out. Mm -hmm. um, she was like, you know, after the kids move out, maybe we'll get a motorcycle. I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe you know, I, I would, I, you know, I would not be opposed. Talking about motorcycles, though. 
I want to drive, uh, I'll, if I get a motorcycle, I want one with the gut showing, is how I say it. I want like a Harley or something like that. I hate like the 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 Yamahas and the, what are they call Kawasaki's or whatever, mm -hmm. where they got the plastic sheets essentially all over them, the right. crotch rockets and stuff like that. I hate that. I also hate the uh, travel motorcycles. Where they got the, they're big and bulky. They got a bunch of saddle bag, like the metal, the plastic saddle bag things mm -hmm. on the side, double seat and all that. I just want a classic, guts showing motorcycle. You know what I mean? That's what I want. I want not necessarily a Harley, because there are other companies that made those. They make guts showing motorcycles, but kind of like the. I, I'm kind of spinning with the BMW R series. Um, I had a friend in college who had one. He had he had a yellow. Uh, BMW R R7 R3 something like that, mm -hmm. um, and you know I, I I rode it a few times. You know I drove it a few times, and I was I was pretty smitten with it. So, but that that's probably mostly you know first yeah first, first time, time using it. So that you know it's kind of like everything in life. You know you love Canon cameras. Why? Because your first Canon camera was a Canon. You know yeah, yeah. you know um, we kind of become smitten about the first thing we use, mm -hmm. and so we kind of stick to that. Um, yeah. Well, talking about... Wow. No, that didn't work at all. We are out of time. <laughs> um, That's hilarious. So, until next time, I'm Eli. I'm Joshua. And this, this is podcast. podcast. Hey, guys. If you liked this episode, go ahead and press that like button. And if you really like it, go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you have anything that you want us to talk about, go ahead and comment. If you think your friends will like it, go ahead and share it. Also, check us out on Facebook at This Is Podcast. Well, I think it's Mando time. Thank you.